So as we prepare for the final channel, I'd like you to just take a breath with me. And know that even when you aren't thinking, even when you aren't trying, the healing energy is there for you. We are in it. We are immersed in that love and the honoring of the human. So just let that knowledge, that little peace, wash over you. A beautiful wave of unlimited love and compassion that comes in at this time, the entourage and cryon. and the man in the chair who devotes his life to bringing this message, this energy, this beautiful, limitless love to all of us as we receive it as a blessing, as a healing, as something wonderful beyond our imaginings filled with possibilities, filled with potential, and filled with the joy that we share it with each other, always, in this moment, and moments before, and moments to come. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. My partner, he steps aside. And so the information that is given from this point forward is not his. But he lets it flow. And as he does in his own way, he verifies that it's still an energy filled with the love of God and light and purity. And that's what I want to talk about, among other things. Perception, consciousness, light, dark. I'm looking at old souls in the room, that is, those who have been through many energies on the planet. And it includes some of you who were shamanic. And in an old energy, there was a demarcation of dark and light that was palatable. The light workers spent as much time fighting evil and the dark as you did generating the light. Even as little as 10 years ago, a healer who approached an individual had to shield themselves from the negativity that the individual carried. You live in the world, and you're human. And you leave this place, and you rub shoulders with so many different kinds of consciousnesses and energies. And many of you still are absolutely convinced you must battle the dark side. And I have told you now for three years, it's different. And if you're going to line up and battle the dark in the same way you have in the last 20 years, you haven't got it yet. You don't understand yet. You're free of this. And you might say, well, they're still there. I want to tell you, if you are sensing negativity, it's your negativity that you're sensing because the light right now, right now in this room is washing it clean. Right now. Listen to me. Light is active. Dark is not. It's passive. That means when you turn on the light in a dark room, the dark is gone. And right now, in this room, 
Even though there may be older negative influences and energies and thoughts, they are buried in light at the moment. At the moment. Light worker, if you go out and you're a healer, I want you to know that your light is so strong, darkness doesn't have a chance. Not a chance. Wherever you walk, you turn on the light in the dark room. Do you realize darkness does not have an energy of its own? It must have an absence of light to win. I want you to think of that for a moment. What is, what is happening right now? Through your intent, you've turned on a light. You might be a negative person sitting there. You might not even be an old soul. I want to tell you that the light around you pushes that so far away. Right now is a good time for an awakening. That's what's happening. That's what is different. Light worker, you may have worked a certain way for years and years. You may be proud of the way you work, battling the dark in the way you do. And I am telling you, stop battling the dark and turn on your light. Because that is the only thing that's going to work. That is new. Another question has been asked about cellular evolvement, physicalness of the human body. All of the work that you have done today in this workshop, what does it do? What happens? Where is it going? Will you start feeling it physically? And the answer is, of course. If you're going to change your cellular structure with consciousness, what do you think? You think you'll just walk around the way you always did? Or would there be a shift and a change literally, physically, in how you feel? And the answer is, of course there will be. As you work on yourselves, the first thing that you're going to feel is peace. Now, I happen to know that there are those in here who are not peaceful. Get up from your chair, you walk out there, you're not peaceful. There's always something you're battling. I know who is here. I know who is here. Listen to me. Aren't you tired of this? Or do you think it's your legacy? Or are you proud of it? It's old. It's not necessary. This is the new human being, the one who is going to hold the God inside and have a light that is so powerful that wherever they walk, the negativity will run the other way. It's new. Isn't it time to relax, to chase the fears away? and be peaceful in your life. To raise out of the chair and feel a different physical you. And with this comes better health. I want you to listen to me for a moment. There's some of you who wish you could change certain things within your bodies, certain chemistry, You've tried certain things. It doesn't help. It doesn't work. Do you know what the catalyst is for everything you've ever wanted? Relax and be peaceful. <laughs> Did you know that? Because then you give your body a chance to talk to you. For your metabolism to start shifting, for your cells to work in a way that's going to give you better health, catch fewer colds, have better energy, not worry. You walk around straighter because you're, you're, you're more part of the light of the planet. There's no more burden. I know who's here. But I want to tell you the big one. What you are doing with the light by talking to yourselves, 
by having these processes, whether it's body talk or tapping or decoding, any kind of processing you are doing that is raising the vibration of your DNA and causing a better efficiency, anything you're doing is changing something that we have never really talked about that much. What happens to that which is your cellular structure as it starts to increase its vibration? And the answer is it vibrates higher. Now, you're not going to get some instrument in some hospital that's going to measure the vibration of your cells. Dear ones, this is metaphoric. At the same time, it's multidimensional. We have said this before. All of you have multidimensionality. You walk around with a multidimensional field, which is called the Merkava. It's the vehicle you ride in, which is spiritual. It is not to be seen by any science yet. It's multidimensional. There is something we call the vibration of your cellular structure, which is also the percentage of which it is efficient. We have told you you're moving past a third, a 33% into a 44% efficiency. It's going to change the children. It's going to change how you think, and it's going to do something else. I would like to tell you something. Maybe I've never discussed it this way before. Do you realize that disease is a low vibration? vibration. And what do you think it means when you raise your cellular vibration from an old one to a new one? Guess what? The old cannot attack the new. What you're doing is changing a cellular structure and avoiding and literally creating a new human structure that the old diseases cannot get to. Guess what the old diseases look for? Lower vibration, negativity, fear. Where are you? What are you afraid of? And I've just given you the secret for health. If you're going to stay in fear, it's almost like you're opening the door. As you start to ascend, you have heard the word before, you're ascending by making your cellular structure a higher vibration. When you do that, so many of the old things will drop away. Your body is smart and it wants you to be balanced. Now, questions have been asked, how do I start this? What do I do? Intent. If you give intent verbally, and you mean it, because you cannot trick yourself, if you mean it, there is a process we have discovered, we have discovered, <laughs> we have discussed before, <laughs> And this is a process that has no name. Your innate senses your intent and starts to shift your body even before you do. You've seen it for a long time and you don't know what it's called. Have any of you figured out how homeopathy works? I mean the mechanics of it. When you give your body an intent from a small tincture, a chemical which you may ingest that is too small for the body to have any kind of an allopathic reaction, way too small, the body sees the intent of the tincture and begins to heal itself because you just sent it a signal. This is a smart body. That's how it works. And it does work. Now think of doing the same thing with consciousness. 
You're going to give your body now a tincture of intent. Here is what I want. I am done worrying. I am done being fearful of everything around me. I am done with drama. I am done with gossip. I am done with bad health. And your body sees the reality of the tincture of truth. And it starts to correct itself even before you give affirmations. That's help. You're in a new age, not an old age that just changed a little. You're in a new age. And this age carries with it new processes that actually may be controversial to the old processes. And there will be those who grew up in the new age who will see this and go, it can't be right, and not follow along. Some of them are dying early because of this. They just can't go with it. They see it coming. Some readers have actually stopped reading because the new energy was a little too much for them and they didn't understand the rules. They didn't think they could do it. Some healers have stopped healing. This is how new it is. It's almost like you recalibrated everything you knew about dark and light. And now you're starting again. And light is more powerful. It's not just more powerful. It's winning. The ancients saw it. This is not a cryon message. Dear humanity. The ancients saw it coming. The calendars of the Maya saw it coming. The indigenous of the earth saw it coming. And they called it for what it was. A new consciousness of humanity. We're excited for you. Some will accept it and some will not. That's how new it is. Dear ones, what are you going to do? You sit all day through something like this. Did you believe it? Did you participate? Or were you just having fun? Maybe you were just interested. Or is it going to change your life? And I will tell you, the change your life part is not that hard. Do you have the courage to drop what you think you knew and take a look at something new. Do you? Old souls, some of you are stuck. You've been battling this stuff so long that no matter what I say or no matter what you see, you're going to continue battling. And I want to tell you, the army has changed. The tools have changed. And light is going to win. Going to generate light, or are you going to continue doing it the old way? Are you going to look for new diets, dear ones, to change your body, or are you going to change your metabolism, which then will give you the new diet? This is a change in everything. You want to have more energy in your life? Stop being afraid. It couldn't be simpler. And yet, it's difficult because some of these things are etched into you in a way that even right now you may be objecting to. Twenty thirteen. We told you of the shift. We says it's such a great shift that that year would not even be counted as a year. Only a change, a time of shift, change. And that would affect some of yours health. And it did. It did. Because this is the kind of thing that the body has to readjust to and get ready for. It's profound. It's new. It's real. What are you going to do with it? This is the message of Cryon. It's the reason I came. 
to show a love and a light to you, to the God source, and make you understand that it's yours and that you don't have to work for it because it lives in you. All you have to do is uncover it, believe it, and drop the old stuff. Where are you in that plan at the moment? Wherever you are, there's an outstretched hand of God, light, that wants to take yours and change everything. That's the promise of a new, new age. Go from this place not confused, but enlightened, aware, and ready to shift. I am crying in love with humanity, and for good reason. And so it is.